Hey folks, how's it going? Massive Beats here coming at you uh, in 4K with a tutorial and uh, analysis on the Logic Drummer. We're going to do a little workshop here. Um, great software instrument. So I clicked on new and I'm going to start from scratch. And as per usual, you have software instrument options, audio, external MIDI, guitar or bass. And we're selecting drummer here and drummer. Um, is a virtual instrument uh, based on templates um, with a lot of controls and layers of controls that are a little bit different than your typical uh, drum plugins, your typical way of working with them in pure MIDI files. So you have several options here right from the get-go. Uh, musical styles, hip-hop, electronic, R&B, songwriter, alternative, and rock and uh, electronic is the latest one instead of working with an acoustic drum set it um, kicks it off with a you know drum machine based type of sound doesn't really matter um, for the purpose of this uh, tutorial which one we pick um, we will talk about the others as well but I'm going to just start with the electronic one so here we go um, just hit create and by default and let me maximize the screen size here by default uh, drama creates two eight bar patterns and they are verse and chorus so uh, what I do right from the get-go is um, first of all I'm gonna give us a little bit more space here and what I like to do I'm gonna make this bigger zoom in here and what I like doing is uh, right when that happens because I'm starting with something completely fresh I usually loop um, the first pattern here um, and then concentrate on that. So what are we looking at? So um, we have a pattern here and as you can see, this is not MIDI, this is an audio or looks like an audio file here. Not quite actually, it's not the same as one of those blue loops if we were to generate one of those, if we look at a um, drum, let's say if we would look at a drums, drum beat, if we were to drop this here, um, here the waveform looks a little bit different, see? So there is a difference there. I'm gonna undo that, Command Z. Let's give ourselves a little bit more space here. I will be talking a little bit later um, about um, these plugins here, but it comes already preloaded with a bunch of plugins trying to give you that sound. So also the instrument channel is ready to go. You, you basically have like an out of the box ready go sound okay so this is the pattern here and you see here there are two layers right um so this is not left and right like in an audio file this is uh basically kick and snare and here you would have hi-hats percussions um cymbals shakers and so forth now when you double click right here it opens up drummer at the bottom and you'll have first of all the style here we chose electronic and then you have uh, the drummer himself right so you have Magnus you have Leah you have um, Ronnie Julian and what is it Justin Bieber I can not see from my angle I'm a little bit on the side here. <laughs> um, anyways um, they're playing or they're programming in this case if it would be a regular drum set it would be they're playing is different so what does that mean think of it it's another pattern another type of MIDI programming all of this here is actually um, generated with a MIDI engine in the background they recorded a lot of sounds a lot of drummers and then there's ways to adjust it so you're not stuck with pre-made patterns necessarily there is and there are algorithms that can change them so a lot of the folks are saying well you know now this drummer does it all for, for all for me it's super super um, sort of like takes the, um, the work out of it no no it's just a different way of working um, layers so to speak so if this is one pattern here right kick and snare you would have different layers and they can be adjusted for example um, if I'm looking at um, just kick and snare here and if I adjust them here, you can see immediately how it's changing, right? Um, it changes the top as well. But these adjustments here, these patterns, if you will, 
Uh, they are patterns, they're just in the same family as Magnus here, right? So Magnus has several types of um, presets that he has. So he has big room and then he has radiance. So he has two different uh, drum machines, so to speak, as well. Um, drum kits, if you will. And then here we have layers. And they, of course, in terms of MIDI speak, they are patterns, right? They change at the top and they change at the bottom. Um, somebody said that this only really affects uh, kick and snare. Not entirely true. Uh, so let's play this back here for a second. Complicate it a little bit. And it added that little sub thingy here on the top on that layer here. So real variation here, the sound has changed as well. So different ways of doing kick and snare. Now, if we wanted to add or remove uh, the snare, it will be right here. Straight kick, right? Excellent. Uh, we can just add the snare. We could add, for example, now a hi-hat. And with the hi-hat, we have five different um, grooves, uh, patterns, so to speak, that run. So you're on the upbeat, right? Change it. Also changes the sound. So you have instrument here and then you have different collections here that you can choose from as well as down here. We could add a, for example, percussion. We can mute things as we see fit. And then we can bring things in. Make a big mess here. And we can change the fills. It tells us how complex and soon the fills happen. So, uh, talking about the fills, you have several fills here. I would say at least eight. Um, it's great. And if you divide uh, a pattern, for example, Command T here, um, the fills obviously happen even more often, right? Because they typically the majority of the fills happens at the end of the pattern. So you have some control here. And what we just did, you separated that. And now we have um, well, it's by excellent, we have two patterns, and you can adjust all of these things. Um, for example, we can just have like the first pattern, just have the kick drum, right? Um, there we go, right there. So um, there is some immediate uh, productivity that you can work with. Um, the concept, uh, the way I see it, is basically instead of saying, look, I have a pattern that sounds really good, now I have to edit it in MIDI, is that sometimes musicians work a little bit different. They say like, hey, can you play a little more complex? Can you make the, the hi-hat a bit more complex? Can you take the hi-hat out? Can you make the kick go a little bit uh, busier, less busier? Um, can you go louder and softer? So these are the things that uh, without having to have that uh, detailed uh, um, programming experience you can control and that doesn't mean you can't get very uh, sophisticated results. So another thing here is uh, the loud versus complex. Um, uh, the complexity level here. So when we, um, let's just focus on snare and snare, kick snare and hi-hat. Alright. So now it's very complex, and here it would be very simple. Here. And I can make it softer.
Now, uh, the interesting part, if this would be an acoustic drum set, it's not the same thing as just having an automation where you have somebody who hits very, very hard and turn down that volume. You actually will be seeing like lower waveforms. And um, since the acoustic drum sets have like this change, uh, when you hit a drum harder, it sounds duller, it sounds softer. I mean, it sounds more aggressive, it sounds brighter. When you hit it softer, it sounds a bit duller, it sounds different, uh, has less speed to it as well, less attack. So these things change as well. So it's a great way to control um, your volume. Um, here we have swing. We can control the swing on the eighth or on the 16th notes. Um, and then it goes into the details. It becomes even more interesting. So uh, we have a humanize uh, knob here. So that introduces small timing errors, makes things a little bit less mechanical. Um, then we have phrase variation. So uh, that one phrase that we play here, if we turn up the variation, uh, things change a little bit more often. So instead of playing things back the same way um, all the time, um, which is very common in dance music, and I love that. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, let's turn on the other thing here, a couple of other things. You see a little bit more, a little more changes. If you have no variation, no less variation, Here we have more variation going on. So another another way of fine tuning it. And again, it's just fine tuning things in um, a different way. And here we have the complexity range. So for example, if you look at the kick drum, it goes from um, when we have phrase variations that it varies from not complicated at all to uh, very complicated. Um, we could make it only vary in a very complex range and then it becomes so now if I move that slider over here it keeps it very simple and here it gives us the full range of uh, phrase variation so to speak um, these are again these are your presets once you have a preset that you like you can add that yourself you can save the preset um i'm gonna look here now at the mixer and that's important too because you can change sounds you have filters you have effects let's try that here all right and turn them off and on another thing here is i wanted to show you here Turn on the metronome. The kit delay. Oh, it can be quite nice to have a delay built in. Um, I'm gonna bring back. So, all right, so with the delay here, um, we have those effects built into the drum machine, into the drum box, so to speak. And you can, if you look at the effects that it came with, that this uh, particular uh, drummer came with, uh, there's a lot, there's a multi-presser, compressor where the bands are separated. Um, we have a regular compressor built in here, an auto filter, a bit crusher, um, a stereo delay, uh, a reverb and in a channel eq i believe if we would have the bit crush it would probably be the crush here and here we go here we can so again not several layers of controls uh that kind of conflict each other but this is basically the underlying engine here pretty uh classic logic or um, you can um, access it through um, directly here onto the with that machine. Here you have the individual uh, volume levels of each drum, which is kind of uh, very uh, 
helpful as well. And you can also change the sound. You can mute certain sounds. Um, you can open the library and change those sounds out. And each of these um, has uh, their own control so we can pan it. Um, so in essence, this is a drum machine that is uh, very, very sophisticated. You have individual outputs, you have individual, individual pan, you have individual, um, you know, uh, bit crushing, you have um, sound, basically EQ for each of those. Um, and you have quite a lot of sounds here. So um, by no means a simple tool. So just to give you an example is if I have a regular MIDI track here, and if I copy my region here, this is basically what's happening in the background. Now this is permanently changing. So if we look at this pattern here, obviously once the MIDI is set, the MIDI is set. But here, the nice thing is, um, for example, I could be adding things here. I could make fills. So the whole structure, the whole party here changes, right? Um, nice thing now, though, is now you can start editing the details. So now you could say, well, you know what? Let me move this note right here, which is what you cannot do as easily right here. So if MIDI is your thing and you want to get started with something that sounds great and is less specific in terms of musical um instructions and then you can revert back to uh, media you can do that later works just as well so fantastic tool um so this is the electronic drummer i hope i gave you some um uh, workflow here let me just um change out something here really quick um let's go to alternative now if our drummer is alternative we're going to change the drummer and now once we change the drummer, uh, we have an acoustic drum set. Let me delete this track here. And things sound, change a little, sound a bit different. Now we can add, now here we have the toms, right? All right, so with that here, Now, before I know it, now I have, um, I got my hands into an acoustic drum set. Today, we just talked about the electronic uh, drums here, and we're going to look at the same thing with the uh, regular uh, acoustic drums by Logic. Thanks for watching.